hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be it was kind of a get ready with me um but in this video i'm going to be using the morphe um 350 palette i've had this palette for a while now um and to be honest i just don't find myself reaching for it as much i don't know why i think because it kind of gets lost so i thought you know what i do really love the colors i love the pigmentation so i'm going to do a look with this palette today so i'm going to start off by doing my face makeup first um it's just going to be kind of simple what i normally do um and then we'll get onto the eyes so yeah we'll just jump straight into it <music> So the first thing I'm going to be doing is priming my skin and I'm using the Max Factor Face Infinity All Day Primer. So it just looks like this, it's just like a kind of white shiny consistency. Then I'm going in with the Benefit Professional just on the T just on the centre of my face. This just helps to smooth and blur any pores that you can see. Then for foundation today I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics HD Foundation. I'm using a Real Techniques sponge to blend this in and I'm just going to be spraying a little bit of MAC Fix Plus just on my sponge while I'm blending this in. I am trying to use a couple of different foundations because I feel as well lately um, all I've been using is the um, Revolution foundation just because it is my favourite at the moment so but sometimes you forget about some of the other good foundations that you actually have. There we go, now that that is all pushed into my skin, I'm going to be using concealer underneath my eyes and I'm using the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer and this is in the shade C3. This actually matches my face a little bit more so I'm not really using it to highlight, just um, to conceal. I'm not really wanting a super bright under eye today. So I'm just kind of applying this in the triangle normal motion and then we'll blend it in. So using my sponge to push it into the skin again. Then I'm going to be going in with a liquid highlighter and I'm going to be using the CLC um, Cushion Highlighter in Copper Rose. Um, I do actually have a first impression of this um, on my channel so if you'd like to check it out then I'll, I'll link it above. So I'm just using a little puff, pushing it in and then popping it on the top of my cheeks. I've really been liking this highlighter lately. Then the next things I'm going to be doing is just powdering my under eyes and I'm using the MUA Pro based um, full coverage powder. I'm just using a tapered brush to set this in place. So that then my concealer doesn't move. Now 
Then I'm going to be powdering all over my face with the RCMA No Colour Powder. I'm just using a big brush to set this in place. I'm debating on testing out the new um, Morphe foundation and concealers but there's been a lot of kind of mixed things about it. Like There's been a lot of people saying it's quite drying and things but to be honest it might not be that bad for my skin because obviously I do have oily skin. So if you think I should test it out then let me know in the comments um, whether you think it'd be worth it or not. Um, or if you have tried it yourself then let me know in the comments what you actually thought of it. Um, because I obviously do have oily skin, um, so let me know how you feel about it and if um, it worked for you. Then I'm going to, going to be going in with the Airbase um, High Definition um, Micro Powder. And this is just a bronzer. And it's just, obviously, it's in the cap. So I'm just going to be taking this on a brush. And all I'm doing is just working it in my... Uh, hollows of my cheeks I really think bronzer makes a big difference to your face obviously it's your personal preference whether to use it or not but I personally think that it makes your face look a lot more defined and a lot better obviously if it's done in the right way you don't want it to look like super muddy or anything. I do personally put it on my forehead just because um, it just kind of looks a little bit better with my hair, I think. Gives a nice bronzed effect. Right, I'm going in with the same powder. I'm not actually switching it up. I'm just going in with a more defined brush. And all I'm doing is just popping it right in the depth of it so it's just a little bit more focused popping it under my lip and down the sides of my nose just so that it brings that nose in a little bit more right and if you want it to make it look a little bit more cleaned up than what that is you can go in with the powder you set your under eyes with and just run it underneath if you want you can bake it but um i'm not wanting it super intense today so and the next thing that I'm doing is just filling in my eyebrows. What is everyone's um, favourite eyebrow product? Obviously, you know mine that it is this one that I use all the time. Um, but I am thinking about testing out a couple of different ones. So let me know in the comments as well what is your favourite one. Just so I can try out different ones. Then I'm just going to set my eyebrows in place with the Revita Lash High Definition Tinted Brow Gel. And mine is in the shade, I actually don't even know. I think it's actually worn off. Then I'm going to be moving on to eyes, so we're jumping in with the 350 palette by Morphe. Then the first shade that we're going to be going in with as a transition is just that one just there. 
and I'm just popping this just on a big blender brush and popping it right in the crease to begin with and I'm just doing this in windshield wiper motions just to get the colour in there um, just as a light wash Like I said in my intro, I actually, no, oh, I didn't forget that I had this palette, but I just haven't used it in a while. And I used it the day and I forgot how nice the um, shades are in it. Then I'm going to be going in with the shade directly underneath it. And it's just like a kind of warm, ready brown shade. And I'm taking this on the Real Techniques um, base shadow brush. I really like it for popping colours in the crease. Zoom in a tiny little bit and then you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just kind of softening the edges with the colour that we've just placed on there. So we've just basically popped that all in the crease. Doing the same on this eye now in windshield wiper motions. Then for just last bit in the crease I'm mixing this shade here and this one just together just to give it a bit more of a warm shade and I'm just going to be popping this with a pencil brush just on the outer third in the V of my eye um, and just blending it back and forth just to get a bit more depth just in this outer corner bit here. So it's going into the crease but then also along the lash line and tapping off any excess that's on the brush. Just gives it a bit more of a wet, ready warmth shade just on this lid bit here and blending into the crease. So that's what one eye is looking like now. So we're just going to do exactly the same on the other eye. As you can see, in comparison to that eye, to that eye, it's just had a lot more warmth and a bit more of a ready tone, which I think I'm wanting to go for with this look today. I kind of started out not knowing want, what I want to do, but I think I want to use this shade right here on my, whoop, on my lid. So um, that's why I'm going in with a bit more of a ready shade so that it all kind of blends together. And just to blend out the edges a little bit, I'm just going in with a clean um, blending brush. This is just the Sigma E25, just to blend out these edges. Then the next thing, I'm just going in with the lid colour that I said, so I'm going in with that one just there, which is just like a, a shimmery kind of ready colour. I'm just popping this straight on to the lid. Oh, that looks pretty. That looks really nice. I'm just going to do the same on the other one.
then going in with highlight in this palette and I'm mixing that shade right there and that one which is a matte and a shimmer one for my brow bone. I'm going to sort that out in a minute. Just so then we've got the highlight on. Blends out and then we're just blending this side out as well. And then to make sure that it is seamless together again, just go in with your blender brush. Then with your inner corner, just go in with the shimmer shade only. Just so it's got a nice pop of colour and shimmer. Then I'm going in with my pencil brush that I used to do on the outer corner. I'm just running this underneath. Like that just so we've got a bit of depth underneath the eyes as well and that is the finished eye look done so i'm going to be going in with mascara now and i'm using my usual fave at the moment which is the mac um extended play giga black lash and i'm just putting a coat of this on Right, now that I've done my eyes, I'm going to go back in and do my blush. I didn't want to do it straight away because I didn't know. I'll just zoom it back out, sorry. There we go. So, for blush, I'm going in with the Mani Kedar blush in the shade Paradise. I actually got these. Whee! I actually got this in one of my birch boxes. And I'm taking this just on a duo fibre brush. Just popping it, just give your face a smile and then pop it on the apples of your cheeks. So as you can see, you can still see like the highlight through it, um, but I did just want to make it a little bit more intense um, because I want to see a bit more of a glow to my skin, even though it does have a good glow like now, like it's not a bad glow. Um, so I'm going to use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Oh Darling on a fan brush and then just pop it on the high points of your cheeks. So if you just look at that side compared to that side, it's just intensified it a little bit more but the tone matches in with it and then just pop a little bit just on that bit there just so we've got it a little bit more intense pop it on the lip nose I've done a little bit more of a fuller coverage look today than what I usually do but than what I have been doing at the moment but if you would like to see how I do my glowy skin routine at the moment I will leave it linked up above and um, because I have been doing that a lot more but with this look today, because I kind of didn't know what I was going to do with the eyes, sometimes I feel as though if you have like quite a dramatic eye makeup, but you don't have um, a good solid base, it can kind of look as though the, the two wash each other out. But that's just my personal opinion. Then for lips today, I'm going in with the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Lolita 2. And I did actually pop lip balm on just before I started my makeup so my lips do feel nice and moisturised. And this goes really well with the look. So this is the finished makeup look today. Um, I really like the way that it came out. I love the kind of like red burn eyes. Um, I think it looks really nice and the lips complement it really well. 
so yeah i hope you have um i hope you do like this look as well if you do then please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below and yeah i will just see you in my next one all right bye guys